Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. As you can see, <laughs> we're going to be talking about again. I mean, he can't catch a break these days. I mean, King Charles. And President Joe Biden, I tell you, they both need to go to an island and live out the rest of their lives. Don't make no decisions for nobody, even themselves. Don't make no decisions. Just go and be free, okay? Because at this age, neither one of y'all is supposed to be in the positions that y'all are in. Because I'm pretty sure y'all forgetful, y'all grumpy. Uh, you feel like you can, you, you're just disheartened about everything, you know what I'm saying? We got President Joe Biden falling off his bicycle, even though he's standing still. And we got Charles sitting up here. I don't know what's going on. Broken heart, broken family. And he he just, I don't know. He just need, need to go somewhere. Just going to need to go and sit down somewhere, pretty much. Okay, because his mind is not, it's not keen. It's not, it's not clicking on all cylinders, just like President Joe Biden. But they got the position. They wanted it. It's just it came at the latter part of their life when they should be living it up, taking naps, going on uh, boat rides, and just being with their wife. You know what I'm saying? And chilling. This is supposed to be the chilling part. Because being in a presidency or a kingship ages you. And they already old. What, well, they going to be looking like a mummy running around here? Huh, half sleep, half woke. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think I did. But anyway, <clears throat> we're going to go back because somebody is trying to make Charles acknowledge him and Camille's, uh, I ain't going to say mistake, their love child is what they call it. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Did the queen, did the queen keep this under wraps until she died and that's just floating back to the surface? Oh, Charles, is this one of you and Camilla's discretion, indiscretions? Okay, because I think you were married to Princess Diana at the time when this love child should have been coming up aboard and all of this because he ain't giving up. He just as old as y'all look like. He look older than y'all. <coughs> and he's sitting up there <laughs> saying, that's his dad and that's his mom. Oh, really? Okay. Let's get on into the story. All right. It says, and of course, we got Ryan uh, Neiman uh, presenting this article for us as well to be entertained and to try to find some clar clarity in it all because evidently queen elizabeth she didn't give a shit okay she's like i don't know you and if you if i do know you we're gonna make like we don't know you okay it's a big cover-up all right but anyway it goes in to say black sheep of the royal family king charles the third and queen camilla alleged secret love child seeks private meeting with harry <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <clears throat> do you think your uh, half brother gonna come to uh, the conclusion that you are indeed his biological half brother or something? I, I don't understand what's going on. And to tell you the truth, Prince Harry already got stuff on his plate between his wife and his dad. So you want him to have double trouble? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to work out for you, sir. I don't think it's going to work out for you, Mr. Simon Durant Day. Okay. It says the Australian man who has demanded King Charles III and Queen Camilla submitted to a DNA test. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's funny right now. It's, it's At the beginning, it's funny. I'm like, did you not demand one when the queen would live it? And how did you fare there, sir? How did you fare there? <coughs> okay, it says to prove he is their biological son and making attempts to connect with Prince Harry. RadarOnline.com has learned 
56-year-old Simon Durant Day spoke out about the latest development in his battle with the royal family days after Queen Elizabeth's funeral. I tell you, the freaks come out at night, don't they? In other words, the freaks come out when the queen is dead. All right, he like, uh-uh, she had some rain, she had some power, and she had some kickback. But Charles is old, and honey, Simon Durant, he look older than Charles, and right there with him. And uh, he think he just come on out the bushes, come on out the uh, cabin, uh, cabin or the cave, and say hello, hello. I'm knocking on your door. I'm your son, your son that you gave away, that you couldn't keep. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, um, was Camilla ever pregnant? Did she even seem like she was pregnant? Do anybody have some pictures of that? We could go all the way back, but anyway. <clears throat> Um, Durant Day has been pushing the story for years that he is Charles and Camilla's son. His adopted grandmother told him on her deathbed that he was given up by his parents. Okay? The alleged little child was born in 1966, which was born Charles' uh, mar marriage to Diana. He disputes historians' claims that Charles and Camilla did not meet until 1970. Durant Day said the royals had, have ignored his pleas for connection for years. He said before Queen Elizabeth's death, he wrote a letter asking for a meeting but never heard back. What? Folks already, I mean, that's, how, that's what they have to do in Britain. When they want to have a conversation or a little talky-walky, they have to set up a meeting and then it still can be denied. Is that what we got going over there in Britain? That's how we get down. Because, uh, Lord's, um... Quiet as it's kept, a lot of them going to speak it out. Meghan Markle wanted to have a sit down, and she wrote herself a little letter to uh, Ch uh, King Charles, okay? And he hadn't responded back to her whether her, Harry, and him can get down and sit down and talk about some things, okay? <laughs> this is too much. I mean, it's like Michael Jackson going around telling his family they have to uh, make an appointment to see him. They just can't drop over because they ain't getting in. Charles, is that what you're telling your family over there when it comes to both your sons and Meghan Markle? They got to make an appointment. Or is it just uh, Harry and your wife got to make an appointment? And it seems like this uh, biological little child, allegedly, he's trying to get one with you, too. And you denying, denying, denying over there. Boy, Ooh, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. But anyway, going back, it says... um. He wrote the Queen to, um, a letter to um, have a meeting with them to, to discuss the matter, and he never heard anything back. Well, of course not, sir. No. They don't want scandals. Hell, us in America don't want scandals. And you damn sure know Britain don't want that stuff. They shut that shit down, okay? Real down. Okay, just like they lowered the Queen in her vault, okay, at Westminster uh, Abbey. That's how they shut shit down, okay? Anyway, um, the Australian said he's ready to file a, a new legal action against his alleged parents. Durante Day hopes a judge will order the couples to submit to a DNA test. Now, Durante Day said he wants to meet Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, who said the royal family was treated very bad. Uh, I think Harry and I have an awful lot in common, very much so, Durante Day said. He told the... 7news.com au of all the royals harry and i would see eye to eye the most i would very much welcome the opportunity to meet with him uh obviously nothing public or high profile and not just he and i as well i believe my wife elvenia and megan will also have a lot in common also he said the chance for all of us to talk one-on-one -on -one would be very enlightening durant they said he felt like him and harry were both black sheep of the royal family and i believe harold would be receptive to my plight he got effed over by his dad he has a belt a bone to pick with charles just like i do durante they said as radar online previously reported following elizabeth's death durant day posted an emotional tribute to his grandmother uh, he wrote, since finding out about the loss of my grandmother, a.k.a. Lilibeth, I've been inundated with messages of condolences for the loss. Thank you all for your kind words, thoughts, and concerns. As many of you have expressed my family and our mourning, not just the loss of Her Majesty, but the loss of another opportunity to resolve the issue pleasantly the right way. 
And I'm like, wait a minute, sir. You damn 54 years old. You didn't think about this thing when you was in your roaring 20s and 30s and 40s to try to elicit or take legal actions to try to get um, both Camille and Charles to uh, submit to a DNA test. You gonna wait till you're 54 years old? <laughs> you might have gone into the sunset, so because that's never gonna happen. All right, the queen wasn't here to say it, but the queen left her presence known. You will, you know, do what you need to do as a royal, and keep as much hearsay and gossip and in the windows trying to pin us to something negative. You know what to do. Okay, she gave her orders. They know what to do. She, you know, she might be gone from this plane of existence, but hey, the royals get down another whole way than just regular everyday folks, okay? But going back to the article, it says, um, the royals have yet to respond to his latest interview. As Radar Online Priest reported, while attending the Queen's funeral, Marco requested a one-on-one -on -one with King Charles uh, to try and settle their differences. And you know we got to get that one. We got to go read up on that one because I'm like, why do, you, why do these people think they can just run over the royal court? <laughs> do you really think they get down like that with the peasants, the common folks? No. No, 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 no. And sorry, Mr. Day, if you didn't get it while the getting was good when the queen was living, <laughs> you can rest assured your uh, blue britches. That ain't nothing going to happen, honey. You got to tell it to the Lord, and the Lord straighten it out for you. Okay, but uh, Camilla, Consort, and <laughs> the King Charles of Great Britain, they stand you, boy. That he don't even want to get with the ones that he know are biologically his. And you think he want to come out and talk about a little child that he may have had? <laughs> you do better talking to the queen. Uh, consort than you do King Charles, okay? And that still probably won't never happen. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more for this story. I tell you, the royal family be tripping me out. No, I gotta follow them on a daily basis, because they just so intriguing. So intriguing. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.